If you're having girl problems, I feel bad for you, son. Rolls Royce has got 26 problems, and women are every single one. That's right, Rolls Royce is our Toxic Workplace of the Week. I'm Erica Domingo, and this is the Toxic Workplace Report. So let's dive right in. Famous for their luxury automobiles, Rolls-Royce also has a division in the United States that creates airplane parts and has federal contracts with almost all branches of the military as well as the FAA. Because Rolls-Royce holds these federal contracts, they're subject to government oversight when it comes to anti-discrimination laws. This week, Rolls-Royce reached a $135,000 deal with the Department of Labor as it relates to their hiring, or failure to hire, 26 women in 2017. As part of the settlement, Rolls-Royce also agreed to review its hiring policies and procedures to ensure equal access and opportunity in its facilities. The final condition of the agreement was that Rolls-Royce would also hire four of the 26 women and give them seniority dating back to 2017 when they had initially applied. But there's a catch. Rolls-Royce plans to shut down the facility where these women applied in mid-2021. So the deal states that these women will only be hired back if that facility reopens prior to the expiration of the terms of the deal in 2025. Unfortunately, these women will not see their settlement checks until sometime in May 2021. And this is not the first girl problem that Rolls-Royce has had. In fact, in 2011, a group of women working for Rolls-Royce in the United States attempted to file a class action under the United States Equal Pay Act claiming they were being paid far less than their male counterparts. In a world where Rolls-Royce used to be the standard of luxury, isn't it weird they turned out to be the Ford Fiesta of employers? Thanks for tuning in to this week's TWR. Make sure you're around to catch us next week. Don't forget to start thawing your turkey.